Hi, and welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a two way live bait slider rig. There. This allows you to uh, slide down uh, live mackerel or whiting once you've already cast out. And it allows you to attach this to your line, slide it down your line. And it allows the fish to be able to swim up and down your line to towards the lead weight or back into shore, um, targeting bass or cod. So all this is is a bit of steel welding rod. We've got a power swivel through a carbon line and a circle hook on the other end. But as I will show you in the video, this is most important end and this is the most important thing to get right this knot. Anyway, let me show you what equipment and tools you need to build this rig. So here are the tools you're going to need to make the uh, two-way slider rig um, for live baiting. It's going to be the, uh, this is a 1.4 mil steel welding rod and that is 50 mil long. And you buy these in sort of packs of tens or whatever. You can get them online quite easily. They're quite cheap. Um, scissors, obviously, to cut line. Got fluorocarbon there. Going to use uh, 40 pound. Um, Synetic Mimtech fluorocarbon. Got a power swivel. That's a size one. 190 pound. 190 kilo, actually, I think. Break it straight. We got a Blackmagic KL. Uh, 5 circle hook we need one of these so this is just like a large uh, lead clip and I'll show you what's needed with that later and then we've got um, a screwdriver wire cutters and we've got pliers any pliers will do so let's start building this slider Right, so the first thing you need to do is to take your uh, steel welding rod and it doesn't matter where, sort of, I don't know, an inch from the from the end, we want to bend the steel bar around with the pliers till it's back on itself, like so. We then want to just pinch that in so that the gap is, I would say, a couple of mil. So there we've got it. Bent that over to a couple of mil. And what I'm going to do with the wire cutters is I'm going to just cut some of this tag off. So I'm going to leave, I would say, probably five mil the other side. And it's not the easiest thing to cut, but there we go. There's that cut there. So then we come, it's easy if we work away from ourselves. Probably want to leave ourselves about an inch there and we're going to bend this over to my left so again pinch it with the pliers with the there's the bend and hold it that way and I'm going to just bend that with my hand just past Past 90 degrees, probably about, I don't know, 110 degrees there. And then what I'm going to do is probably two inches back on that. I'm going to wrap it round. Again, that's the way we're looking at it there. The rod going down away from ourselves. Probably two and a half inches down, I say. I'm going to wrap it round. The the, uh, the 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 bit of a screwdriver there, um, whatever it's called, the shaft of a screwdriver, and this is where it's a little bit tricky. So we're just going to wrap this around once. Twice and a half, like so. We take that off there, that's what you've got. Now you've got this open spring, you can, this is quite difficult just to 
to curl around. You can just pinch it a little bit tighter, one at a time, I would do, bit by bit. But it still wants to be open. So you can do that with the pliers there. You see I can just pinch it tighter just to make it a little bit neater. I can manipulate this. Open it up and like that. Now you want to have the angle greater, or sorry, you want this open still from this basic clip. So when I push on that, I can clip that round and clip it onto the onto the bar at the back. Then basically what we want to do is we want to thread the power swivel on down to my finger there that's about there and again at that point with the with the swivel there we can bend that round keep the swivel on the bend and you can tighten that up basically capturing the, the swivel there at the end, like so. There we have it there. Now, all we're gonna do is twist this bar around here a couple of times to hold it in place and then cut it off. Probably just hold that with your pliers. Once round. Like so, twice round, like so, and then you can just cut off the excess. Help if I had uh, sharp wire cutters. There we go, and then just the pliers, I can just Push that around a bit, flatten that off. Get that nice and neat. Like so. Now you can always put a bit of silicon sheet uh, sleeving over this. Um, if you want to neaten it up, tiny up to you. I don't ever bother. You can always try and close this up. Like so. So there we have it. There is your slider. So that, I'll unclip there. You can then put, well, there's your line running that way. I'll show you in a minute. Put your line up in there. And then twist the line through there, so it's running straight, clip it back up. There's a slider on your line, which I'll show you how it works in a minute. Next thing to do is to cut a length of fluorocarbon. So, I'm gonna go with about, I don't know, 18 inches. There we go, we've got 18 inches of fluorocarbon. Now on this end, on the swivel, I'm going to tie just a uni knot on there, four turn, it's enough. Like so, lovely. We're now going to tie the circle hook on the end of this slider rig. And this is very, very important. We're going to tie it on with a perfection loop knot. Um, this is so that it doesn't restrict this circle knot, this circle hook, sorry, from moving freely. You want the freedom of movement on this circle hook to be able to turn as it comes out the fish's mouth and hook into the side of their mouth. If you're using a, a fixed knot like a, a uni knot or a palomar knot or something like that, this has got less movement because it's restricted by the line. 
with a, a perfection loop it's on its own loop so it's completely free and gives you a lot better hookups so I've just put the link up the top there to the perfection loop and I'll just put, put this on now so we're going to do a first loop in the line there and then what we're going to do I'm going to slide this hook on before I do the second loop and then go around the back again so the first loop has gone around the back of the line second loop I've put the hook on and then come through fold the line across but the as I just put the link up basically you just need to remember you need to put the hook on the second loop you can manipulate this down manipulate this round so you've got a smaller loop you don't want a massive loop at the bottom you want a smaller loop as you can but you still want a loop so that Pushing it and manipulating it. A nice small loop here. Like so. Done. There we have it. Cut that trim, trim that end off. And there you have it. Got a circle hook tied on with the perfection loop. Now that's got complete freedom of movement there. So if that if a, if a bait gets taken on that live bait, that can then, as it comes out, it's got complete freedom to turn and hook into to the side of the mouth. And that is on your slider rig there. Now you can make this as tidy, short and a bit shorter there, a bit neater. Um, I was just doing it for ease and this works absolutely fine. So here's a bit of a line acting as our main line cast out on a gripper lead and you want a live bait slid down on a two-way slider you'd unclip it like so put the line through there you then just have to flip this over your main line like so then back flip that back over like so three times and then it's through and there it is on your line you would then Clip that back up tight. That allows that to slide down your main line with your hook there, with the live mackerel on it or live whiting. And that, that gives that freedom of movement up and down your line wherever you've cast it. Now, this here, it's always good to have one of these up from the lead weight six inches longer than the rig on this live bait slider. This then allows this slider to go all the way down to this point, but it won't go over that clip. And that means that this live bait won't get down to your lead and tangle you up. So it's always good to have one of them. So if you've got an 18 inch, uh, live bait slider rig two foot from your lead weight have a clip anything or a assist ring split ring that's a little bit wider than the the hole there through this coil and that stop your live bait interfering with your lead weight